college football has a weird tradition. Usually on opening day, powerhouse schools like LSU or Clemson will pay a lower division school like Georgia Southern or Furman to come and get obliterated. It's a win-win scenario. These lower division schools who virtually have no chance of winning get paid a pretty good sum of money, while the big schools, in the words of Adam Sandler, get a tune-up game. Okay. Yeah, in college we start every season against Appalachian State or some slack Division II team. Kick the living shit out of them. Get their confidence up. <laughs> it's game day in Ann Arbor, Michigan. 107,000 strong on hand for the season opener. Lloyd Carr and the Wolverines arriving a short while ago. Mike Hart and his teammates eyeing a national championship. You have players. Players and fans who want to see Virginia Tech and LSU. They don't want to see Appalachian State. They don't want to see easy non-conference games. Into more of a nickel look, five DBs. Third and four, they cash in on the third down, and maybe more. Off to the races, and going all the way to the end zone, the speedster Dexter Jackson. And the quick slam is Jackson. He'll run away from everybody. Touchdown, Appalachian State. This is classic. Moments like this happen from time to time. The little guy in this fight has nothing to lose, and they throw everything but the kitchen sink at the big dude. The big dude in this fight collects themselves at halftime, and they respond in the second half more often than not. Intercepted. Edwards in trouble. And the ball is loose. And the Wolverines have recovered. Hart again. And into the end zone is Mike Hart. Something this senior class has never done. A chance to win a Big Ten. And now Hart, the senior, still on his feet. Pumps it back the other way. Hart to the 10. When all hope seemed to be lost for Appalachian State, they would force Michigan to kick a field goal with just under two minutes left of play, which they would end up blocking, giving them one last chance to win the game. Second down, they're coming after Edwards. And he gets it away, caught by Corbin, dances away from one tackler, down the sideline to the 40-yard line. Edwards rolling left, throws across the middle, caught by Hillary, all the way to the five-yard line. This upsets in the history of college football, and it is good. Michigan can't believe what is happening. But after a miracle pass deep down the field, they had one last chance to escape this nightmare. 37-yard field goal, this is it. This is it right here. Getting so ready. The snap's good. The whole block! The kick is good! Oh! The kick is good! Oh! The Mountaineers are going to try to take it's it to the, to the big house. Don't sell the big house. 20, 15, oh! The Mountaineers have just beaten the Michigan Wolverines! The Mountaineers of Appalachian State have just beaten the Michigan Wolverines in the big house. Appalachian State pulled off the improbable. On paper, Michigan was a 33-point favorite. Even though this had a major impact on Michigan's program and is probably the most famous upset in recent memory, according to this ESPN article by Rob Nelson, there are eight other games that, based on the betting line, would be considered a bigger upset. So let's roll through these. At number eight, in 2010, Virginia Tech was a 33 and a half point favorite entering the game against James Madison. That's it. James Madison has upset 13th ranked Virginia Tech in Blacksburg. At the time, James Madison became the second FCS team ever to defeat a ranked FBS opponent. At number seven in 2017, 
Baylor entered a matchup versus Liberty University as a 34-point favorite. In their previous nine matchups versus FCS teams, Baylor had won by an average margin of 46.3 points per game. But even that wouldn't have been enough after they gave up 48 points to Liberty in a shocking defeat. At number six, in 2000, Western Michigan was riding an eight-game win streak when they played in-state rival Central Michigan, who was riding a seven-game losing streak. Western Michigan was favored by 34 and a half points entering that game. It's safe to say their fans were pretty stunned when they blew that game. At number five, in 2012, Houston opened up against Texas State, who had just moved up to Division I FBS. As a 35-point underdog, Texas State would not only win, but they beat Houston soundly, winning 30-13. to At number four, Virginia Tech is back. Midway through the 1998 season, the 14th-ranked VTech took on the 0-6 Temple Owls. As a 35-and-a-half-point favorite, the Hokies got off to a 17-0 lead, only to have Temple come all the way back and win 28-24. Talk about brutal losses. At number three, in 2007, Louisville was riding a 20-game win streak at home. That's when the lowly Syracuse football team came into town and as a 37-point underdog, pulled off the improbable, winning 38-35. At number two, just two weeks removed from the number three game on this list, the number one team in the country, USC, was hosting Stanford. Now, this isn't Andrew Luck Stanford. This is the 1-11 in 2006 Stanford football team. And in 2007, they weren't much better, clinging to a 1-3 record to start the year. While on the other hand, USC was a complete dynasty up to this point. They had won two national titles in the previous four years. Fans had little worry entering this midseason matchup as USC was listed as 40 and a half point favorites. Some feel this may be the most shocking upset of all time, but as far as the point spread goes, we have one game that can top it. At number one, coming in as a whopping 45 and a half point underdog, the 2017 Howard Bison football team has the biggest upset on paper that we've ever seen. This game came against UNLV. Now, UNLV wasn't great by any stretch of imagination that year, but Howard was a whole nother story. In 2016, they only won two games. Keep in mind, this is a schedule mostly filled with lower division opponents. Just for comparison, that 2007 Appalachian State team was coming off a FCS National Championship the year before, whereas this Howard team couldn't even beat teams in their own league, which is a far cry from legitimate Division I FBS opponents. What's really fascinating about this game is their quarterback was Kalen Newton, Cam Newton's younger brother. Perhaps he wasn't the caliber of player that Cam was, but he did pull off the biggest upset on paper ever. And he nearly pulled off another miraculous upset the following week, just barely losing to Kent State after being listed as a 26 point underdog. So I don't know if you noticed, but three of the games on this top 10 list occurred in the same particular year. 2007. When college football fans see the year 2007, it either brings them pure nostalgia or nightmares. In a season of pure insanity, nothing quite compares to it in college football history, and I'm going to be taking a deep dive into it in my next college football video. To the Kentucky 43. Woodson from the gun, play fake, stepping up. He's throwing deep down the near sideline. He's got Jackson! 20! Down! 